looking a sound already? Um, well, look, ask any dog lover, and they're likely to tell you that their dog has a sixth sense for noticing when their owners are stressed, worried, or anxious. But it turns out they still have only five senses, but one of them is heightened to such an extent that they can actually smell stress. Well, this is according to researchers at Queen Mary Belfast, who say that dogs can smell chemical changes in our breath and sweat that occur when we are under stress. Yes, well, here to give us uh, more on this is dog trainer Robin James. Uh, Robin, uh, Hi. thank you for coming in. Uh, and he's got you... a little oh. present so with him who's today. This beautiful, gorgeous oh, little. He's puppy. a bit camera shy. He's a bit oh. oh, he's absolutely let perfect. Move, let me move him around for you. Oh, this is you. Manny, nine week old dachshund <gasps> boy. Absolutely amazing, isn't he? Beautiful. You must have the best job in the world. I surely. do have the best job surely. in the world. Look at his I, eyes. Puppies give you so much unconditional love. Yeah. They're just full of joy and happiness. They're kind. They're gentle. And when they're with me, I like to make them perfect. Yeah, you, you know, what do you make of this study? Because, uh, I mean, th there's lots of studies that have been done about how animals, and even stroking an animal, can really release, you know, good hormones and good chemicals in your body. And we, I'm feeling that now already, just looking at him. So you must think, well, yes, absolutely, the, the positive health benefits have always been there. Yeah, absolutely. Dogs are little healing creatures. He they honestly a belly are. Rub. He loves a belly oh. rub. And when you rub his belly, you're actually reducing his blood pressure. You're reducing his heart rate. And what's amazing is you're oh, reducing fine. yours yeah. as well. So your actual heart rate, your blood pressure is going down, your stress is going down. And in relation to your question, dogs have so much empathy. Mm. They love us so much. And if we are feeling stressed or down, there's nothing better than giving a cuddle to your dog. And as you rightly say, it releases amazing... Hormones yeah. and gets rid of the stress hormone cortisol mm. and actually just makes you feel amazing. Yeah. I think they're healing, right? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. And with this, you know, study that's been done, which says they can essentially sniff out stress. Yeah. Um, do you think, that, you know, we still have so much to learn about how dogs can not only be our best friends and be absolutely adorable, but actually can potentially be used um, in our health service, you know, to help people become healthier, to sniff out diseases, perhaps? Absolutely. I mean, their little schnozzle here, their little oh. nose, <laughs> like 10,000 times more sensitive than ours. They, you know, they smell fear, they smell stress. They smell stress, they smell disease, mm. and, you know, they really are absolutely remarkable and they can be trained in such a way that so many therapy dogs which are taken into businesses, hospitals, uh, old, age, old age people's homes where they go in and actually are therapy dogs. Yeah. And it's amazing, even being in your studio today on how many people have actually given a little Manny a stroke mm. and it's brought so much happiness, yeah. joy to them. Like speechless. We love yeah, that. <laughs> And it's, just very finally, because we have one minute, and I think sure. this is really important. There'll be people, and including an I, who's like, oh, my gosh, I want one. I'm going to go on the Internet immediately and get one. Just tell us what is the safest way to ensure you're getting a dog from a, a, somebody who's a, a legitimate breeder. Well, OK, so the first thing is that you need to speak to that breeder. You need to click with them. You want to be doing FaceTime calls with them. You want to be seeing the mum and the litter together. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to be speaking to them about the vet and the, the history yeah. and everything going forward. How many litters that dog has had. Yeah. So these are the main questions okay. I, what, that I ask in my puppy finding okay. service. Great. Well, thank you, thank you so, so much. Absolute <laughs> thank pleasure. You. Yeah. Well, thank you. Um, we're going to carry on stroking the puppy, I think. That